What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today in our Apple Keynote tutorial, we're gonna go over the magic move animation function and how I use it in Keynote presentations. What the magic move function basically does is when you transition from one slide to another slide, it gives the appearance that some things move from one slide to the next slide as you move through your presentation. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go down here and open up Keynote. We're gonna choose a black background because what we're gonna be doing is a presentation up on a screen. We'll zoom out so we can see everything. Delete these two text box. And now we have a blank presentation to work with. I'm gonna use um, some images. And we're gonna go with a Renaissance theme today. So I'm gonna drag and drop this for a background. I'm gonna show you how to magic move off of what I call like a menu. And so we're gonna use this background because it's kind of cool looking like old paper. Make sure it's centered. Should drag it down just a little bit more. And on top of that, I'm going to drag and drop three Renaissance artists that we're going to talk about: Michelangelo, Machiavelli, and Leonardo da Vinci. So I'm going to show you how to magic move and make like a menu to where, as you saw in the intro, I used the Greek philosophers. I'm going to show you how to do that exact same thing. Um, by using these three Renaissance artists. So what we're gonna do now is crop some of these images in to make them look better. So we'll bring Machiavelli's picture down a little bit, crop it in a little bit, bring the corner in. Just a little bit more. And Leonardo da Vinci, I think we can crop this image a little bit more as well. Make it look a little bit better. All right, so here we have our three images. Um, what I like to do sometimes when I make these uh, menus is I like to rotate the pictures a little bit. You can use this feature and make it a little bit bigger. And it's kind of cool because then they kind of overlap on each other. Just like that. Maybe a little bit too much. Make that a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna give all three of them, go up here to style. I'm gonna give them a border, a borderline of just make it size two, black. I just kind of think it makes it look, makes them look a little bit more crispy. So this is where the fun begins. We're gonna go over here to the left, highlight the slide and go command D to duplicate it. And we're gonna make this slide the Leonardo da Vinci slide. So we'll delete these two photos. We'll go command D again. Let's make this the Machiavelli, or should I say Machiavelli slide. And we'll duplicate it one more time. And this will be the Michelangelo slide. So how this animation works is we're gonna go back to the main menu where all three photos are here and we're gonna create what is called links. And so we'll click on this photo of Leonardo da Vinci. We'll go to format, add link, and go to slide hit slide and down here you want to hit slide and then because if you look over here the Leonardo da Vinci slide is going to be slide 2 we want this to say slide 2 and I usually hit go to slide and there you go click back over here on slide 1 so it has the yellow box around it come over here to the right hit animate add an effect and down here by itself is magic move. And so hit magic move and it'll give you this warning to kind of explain what it does. Um, just hit okay. And what you'll notice is if we go to slide two, let's say I just move this over here, click back on slide one and preview. You'll see that Leonardo da Vinci photo moves. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process by clicking on Machi Machiavelli, going to format, add link to slide and we're going to link this to slide three because that is our Machiavelli slide and hit go to slide so you know it's the right one go back to slide one click on the Michelangelo go format add link slide and we're going to make this one slide four hit go to slide so we know it all works next thing you want to do is let's go back to this Leonardo da Vinci. And I just want to uh, straighten it out, give it a zero degree. 
And then, I think this Machiavelli photo is pretty good just where it is. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then Michelangelo, I'm going to put it to the left side. Give it an angle of zero so it's straight up and down. Make it a little bit bigger. And let's test it out. So if I click on Leonardo da Vinci, it'll go to that slide. So what we're going to do now is create links for these pictures to go back to slide one. So click on Leonardo da Vinci, go format, add link, slide, go to slide one, and click on slide three, click on Machiavelli, go format, add link, slide two, slide one. And finally, click on Michelangelo, format, add link, slide, go to slide one. And then what you want to do is click on slide two, make sure the yellow box is around it. Come over here to animate and go magic move. And you want to do that for slide three as well. Magic move and slide four. So now that you've done all of those things, if we play it, it should work like this. Click on Leonardo da Vinci, the magic moves to that slide. If you click on the same photo again, it'll go back. Click on Machiavelli, it'll go to the Machiavelli slide. Click on the photo again, and it'll go back. And as you probably guessed, you click on Michelangelo, it goes to that slide, you click on it again, and it goes back. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to use Magic Move in Apple Keynote. So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already for more Keynote tutorials and also some vlogs on Friday. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week.